Welcome folks, this is episode 5 of The Shoney Show. Thank you so much for tuning in to the previous episodes, if you already have, if you have not, go back and watch slash listen to them. Uh, now we are finally going to get to an episode that is all about Facebook ads, everybody's favourite topic, Facebook ads, and with good reason, because if you follow any digital marketing consultants, like myself, or any others of that type, uh, other ones are available, then you'll probably have seen that a lot about what I talk about, what other digital marketing consultants talk about, what other business owners talk about, what your friends might be talking about is their Facebook ad results. And it's because it's very easy for us to see money in versus money out if you've got the tracking set up correctly. And therefore, some people can get absolutely incredible results. And it, it's very easy to see somebody who's maybe spent a few hundred pounds and got tens of thousands of pounds back and go, I just need to learn Facebook ads and everything will be sorted from there. But for the most part, that's not absolutely true. First of all, it has to be uh, a business that is in the right position to get those type of results. Typically, a business that has been around for some length of time and distributed some amount of content online already. The reason why is because a lot of these, these customers, clients, businesses that say I work with, other digital marketing consultants work with, are chosen because they already have warm audiences that we can put great adverts in front of that will convert like crazy and get these astronomical results. That doesn't mean that you cannot get these results, you absolutely can. We'll be going through some different examples of people who have used these three ways that we're about to go through to get amazing results. But at the same time, you just need to understand that it's not just about if I can learn Facebook ads, my whole business will be sorted. There's a lot of systems that go on in the background of a business, a lot of systems that go on throughout your marketing that need to be in place to really maximize a Facebook advert. For instance, if we send somebody to a landing page, then we want to be scooping up their details and that might be through a pop-up, it might be through what you're asking for them to do on the page, it might be through an exit pop-up, but we want to encourage people to give us their details so if they don't convert right away and our Facebook ads are showing a click and no sale, then they'll be in our email database and they'll, they'll hopefully convert over time. So having a simple system like that in place massively increases the ability for your Facebook ads to be profitable for your business. And so that's just one of the few things, and I'm sort of going off on a tangent here already, uh, <laughs> the standard thing in this show of me just going off on tangents, but I just wanted everybody to really think about that, about the fact that the better the system's on the back end, the, the better that your marketing on the front end, like your Facebook ads or your uh, call to action post or even a call to action email are going to work for your business. And so something that I really, really love about Facebook ads and I love to talk about is selling high priced products. And it's because the, the ROI that you can get in these high priced products can be absolutely incredible. Also, higher priced products tend to have a, a decent level of margin, maybe not percentage wise, it could be the same as anything else, but as you can imagine, 10% of uh, £10,000 is £1,000 to work with. Uh, so even a 10% margin product, you've got a good bit of wiggle room there to get in some leads to make some sales and stay profitable. Uh, so I love these high priced products. And when I talk about premium priced products, I'm pretty much talking about things that aren't impulse buys. Because we need to remember that when we're doing Facebook advertising, Instagram advertising, any sort of social media advertising, rather than say Google ads or YouTube ads, what we're doing is we are using their incredible tools to find the people that we want to sell to. On the other hand, if you're on Google ads, you're creating adverts based on somebody's search and therefore, we're popping up as the solution when they are literally looking for that solution. So unlike Google, we aren't in that position. And so it can be very difficult to stop somebody mid scroll when they're just bumming about on their phone in their lunch break or uh, whilst watching a TV show in the background, Love Island 2019, who's involved. Uh, but in that situation, it's going to be very difficult to get somebody to whip out their card and spend £400 with you, or £900, or £3,000, or even £150. 
these are all premium priced products. And so for me, I have a few different systems that I work with with my clients and also with uh, a lot of my program members as well, because a lot of my program members sell things that are in the thousands of pounds and they've had some incredible results using Facebook ads and it's just by using a few simple strategies. So basically, if you sell anything that's say even, even over like 50 bucks and isn't a really, really impulse buy type product, then these systems are gonna work really, really well for you. So we're gonna dive into three systems here that you can use. I think we've actually already, in the first five minutes, gone off on a couple of tangents, but a couple of really, really key points and ways to think about your Facebook ads and ways to think about your marketing. Uh, so take down those notes and apply them. Think about your back-end uh, back strategies as well as your front-end strategies. And also, there was something else. Can't remember what it was. I definitely said something else. Right, so let's go into three ways to sell premium products with your Facebook ads, or how to sell anything over hundred pound with Facebook ads. I've got two titles for this written down, because I just wrote this out. Uh, I, I knew the basis of what this episode was gonna be about. Had in my day plan, write down uh, a, a simple structure for this podcast, so I have my three points written down, but I couldn't decide between the two titles. Number one is lowering the ask. So we, we talk about this all the time, lowering the ask. Um, and that is just when, when we're actually going to send somebody somewhere. If we have something along the lines of a thousand pound product, it's too high priced a product to typically get people to take action with you. And a very simple way of getting people to buy this one thousand pound product or however much it is, is to lower the ask and give them a stepping stone towards what it is that they're actually going to purchase from you. And so something that I'll use with a lot of my clients uh, and my program members do this as well, is we do book a call pages or download a prospectus and give us your details. Um, we're literally giving them a stepping stone towards actually starting a conversation with us. Uh, so very, very simple first strategy there using booking a call or downloading a prospectus, something that, like if, if you sell fitness equipment, for example, you're not going to know that even everybody who visited your website is interested in something very specific. You're gonna have a whole range of fitness equipment and one of the best things that you can do, especially if you don't have your prices on your, on your website, is give people the opportunity to download the full prospectus to get those prices. So something of value, a real reason why they would want to download it, but your Facebook ads are literally gonna send people to this page, get them to download the prospectus, and when they do so, you're gonna get their name, their company, their job title, their phone number, their email address, any details that you would need so that your back-end systems follow up with them correctly. That might be sending them emails, it might be picking up the phone to them uh, to ask them any questions and talk them uh, around into buying from you. So downloading a prospectus, booking a call, a lot of uh, premium price gyms that I work with, a lot of personal trainers that I work with, uh, also do this as a book a call page. So instead of getting somebody just to buy a block of personal training, for example, which can be 350 pounds on your website, it's much easier to get somebody to take that first micro commitment, which is just to book that call with you. And once they're on the call, if you've got any sort of people skills, and I'm assuming that you do, given that uh, in this situation, I'm speaking directly to you as the personal trainer, that you're in a very personal business and therefore you're gonna be very good at speaking to people and getting to know them uh, having a good rapport with them and then talking them into your your different products and services. And so the hit rate of having somebody on a call and getting them to actually purchase from you is extremely high in that situation. And so that leads actually into number two here, which is messenger ads. Messenger ads are absolutely dynamite for this type of thing. So when you're setting up a Facebook ad, you go into Ads Manager, you go to Create Advert, the very first thing that Facebook asks you, and you've got to choose one of them, is what is your objective? And it's a really important thing anyway. So for anybody that 
thinks that they've just always got a single objective that they always go for. Maybe you always go for website, website clicks, maybe you always go for conversions, maybe you always go for reach, I don't know what you go for. The importance of choosing the right conversion is absolutely massive. It is so, 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 so massive. And the reason is, is that, let's say for example, you give Facebook an audience of a thousand people. When you tell them what objective that you're looking for, they're going to put the advert not in front of those thousand people, they're gonna put it in front of a portion of that, those thousand people, and the people that have shown that type of behavior before. And so if somebody buys often from Facebook ads and you use the conversion tool, they're more likely to actually purchase. So they'll put it in front of say the 200 people in that audience who most often make purchases directly from Facebook ads. If maybe say there's 400 people within that audience who regularly click on Facebook ads and land on websites, they'll put it in front of that 400 people if you say that your objective is to get website clicks. Now, if you say messages, what they're going to do is they're going to go to the people who most frequently within your thousand people actually message business pages to ask questions, both from adverts and also just in their general behavior. If that's their type of behavior that they actually message business pages and ask them questions. And so it's an amazing way to, uh, like when you're choosing your objective, to ensure that you actually get the correct thing that you're looking for. So if you actually just want uh, page engagements, if you want comments, if you want likes, etc., then post engagements is what you're actually looking for there. A lot of people actually determine which objective they're going for based on how many people they can get in front of. Not the correct thing to do because Facebook will just put it in front of the cheapest people to get in front of who never show that type of behavior. And so what we really want to do is go for the objective of exactly what you're wanting to get out of this Facebook ad. So that is a really, really important thing. And so to bring this back around to mes messages, uh, so uh, messenger ads, when you are choosing your objective, one of them is messages. And so you go for that, you choose messages, you set up your advert like you do any other, so you're choosing your audience, you're choosing uh, your placements, you're choosing your budget, you're choosing how, uh, whether you want to go for lifetime budget or daily budget. Then you go down into your advert and not much changes there either. You've still got your choice of images, you've got your ch choice of carousal, you've got your choice of video adverts, you have your text above the, the image or video, you've got a headline below it, and then you've got your button. And the button is usually going to say uh, send message. So that'll be the default. I think there's actually a few others there, but I always do send message anyway. And what we're doing with this advert is we're telling people about our higher price products. We're literally telling them specifically about the higher price products. But instead of trying to get them to go to a landing page and do anything else, we're trying to get them to start a conversation with us specifically about this product or service that they're already looking at. And this one has been incredible for, for me, uh, for, for my program, it's been incredible for uh, different businesses that I've had in the past where we've been selling multiple thousand price uh, products in the exhibition space. Uh, also for a bunch of clients that I've worked with, we've used Messenger ads very, very successfully. And then right to the point of my program members where I'm not in control of what they do, only what I teach them. And people like Liam, Liam spent something like 72 pounds or 62 pounds on messenger ads, started a bunch of conversations and sold 1,250 pounds of personal training. And that's upfront if he maintains that client, if he sells them into higher price bundles, the lifetime value of that 62 or 72 pounds spend is huge. Paul on the program, he spent something along the lines of uh, about £150 and got nearly £5,000 of course sales back. And then he, since then, he's now told me, I, I actually can't remember, it's something along the lines of about £1,000 spend overall and I think he's got something like £15,000, £16,000 of sales back uh, right off of those. And that, that's the type of thing that you can do here 
with messenger ads. You can just tell people about courses, you can tell people about uh, bundles or products and services that are maybe in the thousands of pounds and it's a very low ask to get them to send a message to the page to say they're interested and to find out what they need to know before they can actually make a decision to make the purchase. So it's a very low ask, it's very easy to do. If they're interested, they'll just ask. And there's a level of the, the unconverted leads thing here that I'm always talking about as well, where you have had a conversation with them on Facebook messages. <coughs> Pardon me which means that you can actually still go back to them and actually have conversations with them. If you have many chat, for example, if you actually have a messenger bot anyway set up, then you can actually send broadcasts to these people as well. When they message your page, they'll become subscribers automatically and you can send broadcasts to them. But even on a more personal level, you have your amazing auto eyes that you can get from using these Facebook Messenger ads. Then after that, you can just have a system in place where say, every month, every two months, every three months, you go back to anybody who messaged your page through an advert and just say, have you had any, any more ideas about maybe getting involved? Have you found a, a different solution? And just get a conversation started there and go back and convert your unconverted leads. So Messenger ads, it's an insanely low ask to get a conversation started. And conversation marketing is like my favorite thing right now. It is so unbelievably amazing. People are trying to automate everything. They don't want to have conversations with real people anymore. And especially if you're in higher priced products, that's where it becomes like mental for me where people just do not want to speak to people through Facebook Messenger or Instagram DM. But it is the most amazing opportunity because conversations sell even when it is a high priced product, when they've literally said, I'm interested, it's yours to lose at that point. And if we can get somebody messaging us for like £3.29, sure, you might be able to get a clip to your website for 39 pence, brilliant to you if you can, but the hit rate of getting that person to go and buy a thousand pound product is gonna be so much lower then every single person who messages you starts a conversation with you as a human and you get to overcome all their objections to the point of making that sale. So messenger ads, conversational marketing, absolutely glorious, absolutely love it. Uh, number three, and this is a, 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 a bit of a different one, which is remarketing with proof. And so what you want to do is you want to build up an advert as an asset here. So this might just be something that's entertaining. It might be something that actually is a testimonial video. There's so many different ways that we can do proof. I already did, I think episode two of this podcast is three different ways to use proof uh, to sell more products and services. We looked at social proof facts, we looked at testimonials and a bunch of other stuff. Go back and listen to that for some ideas here. But what we're really looking at is using the Facebook pixel to create audiences of people who have shown a high level of interest based on which pages on our website they have actually already visited. Uh, so we can also create audiences of people who watch over 75% of a four minute sales video. So that would show a high level of interest as well. But when I've used this in the past, I typically look for clients who sell something that is very high, highly priced, let's say it's like over a thousand pounds as a typical sale. And I'll create an audience of a page that might not have very high traffic, but it shows a huge level of interest in buying one of the higher price products. And what I'll do is I'll create these small audiences and I will hit them pretty hard with, uh, with adverts. So I'll be uh, multiple placements, it will be a very low spend advert, but any sales that come through will be a very, very high conversion rate. Uh, not very high conversion rate, uh, very high ROI or ROAS, return on ad spend. And so what we're typically doing here is we're creating an advert that is there initially just to actually build up likes, comments, shares. So it can just be something that's maybe entertaining. It could be a testimonial video. And what I actually do is, is I'll spend say two or 300 pounds on using post engagements as my objective. So even though this advert is maybe specifically 
talking about people becoming leads or buyers. What I'm doing is I'm just trying to find the people within my audience who are most likely to like and comment and share and build up a whole bunch of social proof on this one advert. And then what I do is I just set up an audience of people who visit this really, really highly, uh, highly motivated page on my client's website and it'll be a small audience because as we're talking about here, it's uh, their really high intent pages for a high price product and we will hit them hard with adverts that are all highly drenched in proof. So it's all about social proof facts, but it's also about how many people are actually engaged with that post. And what we do is we give them no call to action. There's no call to action on it. All we're doing is we are just showing proof knowing that they will come back off their own accord because we're not asking them to, we're not begging for the sale, we're not begging for the lead, we are literally going back out to them and just showing them other people are interested in this product. And that has worked incredibly well in the past for getting huge ROIs and it's a really, uh, it's a really wrapped around way of, of doing a say, business to business Facebook ad. I usually talk about it in the business to business space and the, the easiest way to use this is if you're the type of company that sells to both day to day consumers and you have a business to business element. Because what you can do in that stage is you have say your lower price products and services that you sell to the everyday buyer. And so you have a much wider audience to build up this level of social proof. You can have hundreds of thousands of views on a video loads of uh, likes and comments and shares and then you can actually just make that tiny audience of your business to business audience and get back in front of them when they've already shown their hand that they're interested in your higher price products and it just shows that people in mass are interested in what you do and as we always talk about here and as we always talk about on my channels and as we talked about in episode two which is all about proof nothing moves the needle like one of two things undeniable proof or a 100% money back guarantee and proof 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 even when you're selling thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds of product is so unbelievably important potentially you could say even more so because there's more money at risk so proof remarketing to people who visited a certain page in a short space of time that was high intent you could also do it like I said with a sales video so if you did a really really salesy video as a Facebook ad. When you do those, by the way, you're gonna get pl plenty of uh, fun feedback, we might say. Um, but in that situation, you can also actually create an audience of people who watch over 75% of it because it's not there as an entertaining video. The whole point of the video is uh, a sales pitch about a product or service, and if anybody has given you the time of day to sit there for two or three minutes, you know they're interested, just like if they went to your high intent page on your website. So that gives you a wider audience to hit with this strategy as well. So note down those three, go and try them all out, try them out on a small budget and see how you get on. Hit me up on Instagram DM and let me know how you get on with it. I would love to hear your feedback, I would love to hear your results. Even if, uh, even if you try out one of these and it, and it doesn't work for you, I'd love to see your landing page, I'd love to see your advert and maybe talk about uh, how you can improve those things as well. So yeah, reach out to me as well, I would love it. If you're listening to this on YouTube, then uh, hit subscribe, comment below, we'd love to hear from you, that would be glorious. And if you're listening to this on iTunes, then uh, please subscribe, rate and review. And until next time, We'll do more about Facebook ads now. Like I said before, even in my 16 week digital marketing program, I don't let anybody get to the Facebook ad module until they've completed the first six modules. And the funniest thing is, is so many people in the program are, well one, already getting uh, big results from Facebook ads just by asking questions in the group. But second of all, a whole bunch of people have implemented the stuff that uh, they didn't realize that they wanted to sign up for business and marketing fundamentals or email marketing, content marketing, social media marketing and then they've actually got too busy and so they haven't gone on to the Facebook ads module. That's, uh, that's the kind of thing that can happen when, uh, when you look at all the opportunities that are sitting right in front of your eyes 
in your business. So don't hang everything on Facebook ads. I love them to bits. You should definitely, definitely be using them. You should definitely be trying them, especially your lowest hanging fruit, remarketing adverts, and also if you sell anything at a high price uh, product, then your messenger ads for me are your absolute gold standard here. But until next time, everybody have a fantastic week. I'll have the next episode out in three or four days. Right, have a fantastic week and I'll catch you soon.